don't, 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 those boxes have Alright. Moment of truth. We need something big. Oh, what is this? Alright guys, just got here to the storage unit here in Dallas. We're about to go check it out. This is the unit I bought right here. I paid $440 for this unit after taxes and all the fees. I bought it off of public storage, off of storage treasures. I'm really excited to check out this unit right here. I have uh, posted a picture here. As you can see, there's a lot of target boxes here and those target boxes are what really threw me off and what really made me pay up for this unit. Okay, so walk into the unit. This is my first experience with like a public storage. These places are massive. Like look how big and this is the third floor of this place and it's so clean and it's climate controlled and everything. And you can already tell compared to some of the units I've done in the past where like there's mice droppings and just spiders and it's nasty and everything. This is going to be a lot better. Forgot the key in the truck. I gotta go back down. Alright guys, this is the first unit I've ever bought here in Texas, so I'm excited to get into this unit. Here's the unit. This unit particularly stuck out to me because there was a whole bunch of Target boxes in there. I've never once bought boxes from Target, but you can see there are multiple Target boxes in here. Up on the ground, and then one up top there, and then another one down on the bottom. So this unit here I get $400 for, and I couldn't really see any of the stuff in there other than the boxes, so I'm excited to dive into this one and see what there is. I could see something gold in the first. I could see something gold in the first box here. I was really excited to get into this one. Uh, check out these boots here. I can't really see what they were, but there's some stylish heels there. Think about these. I think I could fit these almost. Looks like they might be a little small. I don't know. Let's say like if this video gets like um. A a million likes or something, I'll wear these boots. I'll squeeze my feet into them. There's some boots in here. Denim Choice. I don't know what this is. Some clothes. Dang. A scarf. Check out these heels. <laughs> That's so crazy. I wonder what this person did for a living. I don't know. <laughs> wow. And dang. An express jacket? Express leather jacket? Check out the price tag on that. $128. I paid $400 or 440 after all the fees and everything for this unit. And this is just the, oh, what is this? Wow, check out those boots. Looks like everything here is like paired also. Like these are some stylish boots right here. I don't see a brand on it, but I have to put them with the cool boots. Is that what they're called? Boots or heels? Heels. Oh, a Madden NYC hat? No, I probably shouldn't. Been sitting in the unit for got my new hat. <laughs> there we go. Purse? What kind of purse? I don't know. But a purse. A like dreams purse. Oh Balenciaga bag? It means there's some Balenciaga in here, right? Oh. H&M, some more stylish heels, some Zara heels, $80 on the price tag on these Zara heels. 
another hat? I'm just going to be full of hats today. This is one's even... I think I like this one better. This is a cool hat. I don't know. Messed my hair up. But so far this first box just looks like it's some purses and some shoes. H&M purse. Looks like very nice and clean stuff too. It's another cool hat. My head's a little too big for this one. Yeah, it's not going to work. Oh, here we go. Fuzzy one. A little yellow inside. We're not going to try that one on. Um, which makes me... It makes me wish I didn't try the other ones on now. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll be fine. More heels. I'm trying to get to the Michael Kors purse down here. That's a nice purse. MK, Michael Kors. This one feels like real leather here. That's kind of cool. It says, I used to be a plastic bottle. I'm just a recycled thing. Oh, this one's cool. This one it might work for me. Walk around the store with like my... Check this out. Think about this. I'm going to give you all my idea right now. There we go. I walk around the store, right? At the thrift store. I put this on. I walk around. Check it out. Hold on. You need change? I got change. Paying with a 20. Here's your change. Here's 15 back. Right? Or like, I got markers in here, right? I go around and price some things. I got my pricing stickers. Pricing stickers. Put it. Price something. Put it on. Check it out. What do we think? And they have. It's a wrap now. I'm going to get so much work done. Ooh, a guest purse? These are pretty valuable, aren't they? This thing's full of purse. I want some more little. Uh oh. Girls' night out. It's empty. Another little guest bag. A little coin purse, I assume. Some more of these cool heels. I'm trying to find the Balenciaga. There's the Express. I'm trying to keep it without because they're still about to all these are tied together zara still they're on sale for 35 but still really nice these express 98 dollars for those heels some really nice pairs of heels in this i'm trying to see all the purses in here more hats oh check it out express it's a cool little purse. Hold on. Is that Louis? Louis Vuitton right now? This. This might have to be my new bag. Some LV. Check that out. No way this is real. That'd be awesome. I'm going to have to get this authenticated, but check that out. A Louis Vuitton purse. Satchel. Bag. Thing. And it's got... Campins. Campins? Oh, this one's shiny. That one's a cool little bag. A couple more bags. First box just had nothing but like heels, purses, and hats, but very good designer ones from Express to hopefully Louis Vuitton, uh, Balenciaga, somewhere in there, I'm assuming, and a whole bunch of really cool heels. So Starting out really good. If that was the very first box in there, we still have the rest of the unit to go through. Second box. Looks like it's nothing but a giant blanket. Some clothing. This is kind of cool. Looks like a biker. Hold on. I might look like a real biker now. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Mmm. Check it out. But I think I'll lose a couple pounds. Or maybe loosen it up a little bit. A little strong for it. Ugh, hitting the gym too much. I'm working out a little too much. That's the problem. I think that's the problem. 
I look like a biker, wouldn't I? <clears throat> look at that. I look tough. I look real tough. Can you help me out here? We're done trying out stuff for the rest of the unit. But there's a deal back here that I'm excited to see. It's like a little... I don't know what. This deal. It was right there. Maybe. Oh, a whole bunch of... Uh, looks like jewelry. None of it looks real, though. There's still some nice pieces in there. Make some good sales there at the store, I hope. The word I was looking for was costume jewelry. None of it was real. It was all just like little costume jewelry. Oh, okay. I think after the first box and then this one, I think we're starting to know what this person, uh, what all this stuff in the unit may have been. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get into it some more. Velvet stuff out. I, a medium velvet? Check out that jacket. That's a cool jacket. That's a really cool jacket, but... A Neff? N-E-F-F? Sports jacket? Just clothing. Looks like some very good clothing in here, though. Like, very clean. That's what I really like about this unit so far, is how extremely clean this stuff is. H&M. Especially compared to a lot of the ones back home where it's nowhere near as clean. <laughs> Next box. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I probably shouldn't talk about this one, but I think we can get the idea of what's in this box. Unless there's more, but no. Wow. It's nothing but. That's cool, though. Another express jacket. But <laughs> for the most part, it's just, um... Yeah. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that. Yeah. Another polar bear jacket? NVLT? Polar bear. Another polar bear jacket. And it fits. Oh, this one's way more comfortable than the last one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Check it out. Another polar bear. Check it out. I just keep finding these polar bear jackets. Ooh. I gotta find my hat. I gotta find me another hat. That's not a hat. Happy birthday, Mr. President. I am a businessman. I run a business. I should not be out here doing this stuff. My head's itching. Probably because of the hat, huh? I need to stop doing that. It's like when you go to like a Mexican restaurant, they put this sombrero on during your birthday. Everyone else had that same sombrero on. You think they clean that? Do, 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 this box is head. Do, do, do. All right. Moment of truth, we need something big. I don't know, that. I don't think that's big. Pencils. I like pencils. Repair hand mask. I'll take that home, use it. Some more little jewelry. I don't know. Some pretty pieces there. Got to put with the rest of it. Look through that later. It doesn't look like anything like real. It is what it says. It's all about love, laugh, and life. 
Oh, we got a box of shoes now. Oh! Very first pair on top. A pair of Air Jordan 1s. Size 6.5 youth, though. Mm, I'll have to look at these and some more because I don't recognize the logo correctly. I'll have to check these out. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Some Michael Kors. Louis Vuitton shoes. A pair of Louis Vuitton shoes. That's crazy. Another boot. Take their root. The other Jordan. More boots, heels. I'm looking for Balenciaga. Have you seen her? More. Wow, those are big. A lot of heels. A crazy amount of heels. Now these. That's what I'm talking about right here. Check out that. Express. Just a ton and ton of heels. That's crazy. I'm looking, looking for any more designers like that. Some Zara's. Check out that Michael Kors and Louis Vuitton and some Jordans all in the same unit. These here, these have to be valuable right here. I have to check these out here in a little bit. That's crazy. I'm going to set these to the side. What is this for? What is, what could this be for? I don't understand. What's an arm deal? So we have ruffles? There's just one. I don't really need to quit doing that. I'm starting to itch. Some jeans. Some Levi's. Jeans. But very clean and nice clothes. That. What is this? What does that say? Gucci? Is this like a Gucci scarf? Is that a real Gucci scarf there? Check that out. I just looked right past that the entire time. I don't know. We got to. I need to find some good stuff. So far, that's four boxes of clothes and one box of shoes. All right. A little box of home decor. Got this. Oh. Oh. Um, a globe. That's cool. Check out this. It's like a three drawer deal of jewelry. Oh. $7.99. So I'm assuming it's going to be mostly like costume jewelry, fake gold and stuff. And one last drawer. I don't know. Wow, whatever it is costs three hundred and seventy five dollars. So the make Oh we salvaged it. Hopefully this is the watch here and those were all the pieces for a three hundred and seventy five dollar watch maybe is what it costs new. Oh, this is what I've been needing. <laughs> I think that was all it had. Oh, no way. Check out these sunglasses. Where's my hat? Where's my hat at? No way. Get these off. Where's my 
some polar bear sunglasses. Look at that. Oh, these are badass. Bad. But check out all these. Whoa. That's what I've been needing. I've been needing. I've been needing these sunglasses. You know, I woke up this morning and I said, you know what I need? I need the best, the biggest sunglasses I can find. That's what I needed, and look what I found. I found them. Maybe they found me. Anyways, let's get back to work. God, I keep itching. I'm probably getting myself pink eye just now. No way. Check that out. Best grill. Check that out. That's awesome. When do they fit? No. I can't be trying. I gotta, there's got to be limits to what you try on and what you don't. And I think that that's the line. And I was stepping over the line with that one. I don't think I should have. I don't think I should have tried that one. Tea. <laughs> like a grill or like the thing you test to get grills. These, they're coming home with me. Oh, this has got to be, I saw this in the pictures, but I didn't think it was this big. I think it was this cool. Like, that's pretty cool. This is a very cool lamp. This probably won't ever make it to the thrift store, I'm going to be honest. That's a cool looking odd piece. I was right. I never made it to the thrift store. This lamp is super cool. Check out how bright this thing is. It came straight home. Another box, bring it out to the light. That's a very cool mirror. Oh, this is a cool lamp too. That's a cool looking lamp. Home home decor. We've got three more boxes of clothes. Got Jersey out. Somalia. All right, so here's all the boxes outside of the unit. We already went through all the boxes. They were pretty much all just closed, but very, very nice clothes. Almost definitely we posted most of those on Depop. Some on eBay, we still have to go through them and clean them and figure out what we have. So that's what we're doing here. I am carrying everything down into to put it into the U-Haul. Uh, we rented a little U-Haul. Funny story, I had to actually rent one from Oklahoma and then drive down to Texas with it and come back to Oklahoma because in Texas, they wanted to charge like $280 for one way from Dallas to Lawton, but if I wanted to drive from Lawton to Dallas back to Lawton, it was $40. So that's what I had to do. And here was me walking outside, taking one of the last few loads. All right, so brought everything back to Oklahoma and is now unloaded in the warehouse. So we're gonna start going through it actually and start seeing what actual clothes and start sorting it all out. So all in all, I think this was a pretty good unit. After uh, all the costs, it cost me $440 in the unit, $40 to rent the U-Haul, and then about another like 120 for all the fuel to get down there and back. So uh, it's almost like 700 all in. And it took me a full day to go down there and back. So uh, I still think it was a pretty good unit. Uh, all the clothes, like especially like all the Louis Vuitton shoes or Louis Vuitton purses. And I go through there and I can excel all the Express and Zara clothing. Uh, I still think it should net pretty good. I don't know the exact numbers yet. By the time um, the video is posted, I'll hopefully have a lot of the stuff on our websites. So make sure to check that out. If not, it'll be coming up soon. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all next time. And bye. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope you all subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow my channel. Please like and subscribe to this video. And I'll see you next time.